Hey everybody, welcome to History University. My name is Tom and I will be your educator for this video. Today we're going to talk about the 10 richest US presidents. US presidents can be seen as the world's most powerful person, and sometimes they are among the world's richest people. I do want to point out that in the United States of America, for the first 30 years of its history, only white landowning males could vote. It's important to note, aside from the racial division, there was also a class division. White landowning males made up only 6% of the population. If you currently rent an apartment or live with your parents, you are not a landowner. Your landlord is, though. So there is a theme of some of the earlier presidents being some of the richer ones because the country started out with a ruling class that didn't let the lower classes participate in politics. I will also be adjusting their wealth for inflation, so the dollar figure I will report to you is what they would have in 2020 US dollars. So without further ado, let's start. At number 10, Franklin Delano Roosevelt with $60 million. According to 24-7 Wall Street, most of his wealth came from his marriage to a wealthy wife. Despite having a lot of wealth himself, he was strong on progressive taxes and taxed the rich into 90% of their income. Number 9, Bill Clinton, $75 million. Clinton made his money after leaving office. He earned millions on his 2005 biography, My Life. His wife, Hillary Clinton, is also estimated to have received $14 million in advance for her book, Hard Choices. After leaving office, Clinton has given multiple speeches to wealthy companies. Clinton will charge a few hundred thousand dollars just for a short speech. This is common for ex-presidents and ex-vice presidents to do, as they will take the highest bidder's offer just to speak for a few hundred grand. At number 8, Herbert Hoover with $83 million. Hoover had a humble upbringing as an orphaned child. He would go on to graduate from Stanford and work as a mining engineer before entering politics. His fortune can be attributed to his efforts in writing mining engineer textbooks, as well as acquiring several Burmese silver mines. Number 7, Lyndon Baines Johnson, $110 million. Johnson was an ambitious young man without much money until he met his wife, Lady Bird Taylor. Lady Bird came from a wealthy Texas family. Once married, Johnson and his wife owned livestock, 1,500 acres of land, and their main source of income came from a radio station owned by Lady Bird. Number six, James Madison, $113 million. Madison's parents were extremely wealthy and owned thousands of acres of land. They were plantation owners in Orange County, Virginia. Madison inherited much of the land and wealth, but it was eventually squandered by his stepson's poor business decisions and gambling habit. Number 5, Andrew Jackson, $132 million. Jackson was one of the few presidents who was actually born poor. He earned most of his money through a law practice. Then he married into a giant fortune from his wife, Rachel. She passed away shortly before he became president, leaving him with a ginormous sum of money. Number 4, Teddy Roosevelt. $140 million. Roosevelt inherited a large trust fund and did little to increase his own wealth. He spent much of his life in public office. At 23 years old, he was elected to the New York State Assembly. He would continue being a politician or military figure for the majority of his adult life. Number 3, Thomas Jefferson, $236 million. Jefferson inherited 3,000 acres of land in Virginia from his father. He then added 2,000 more acres to his real estate and built his masterpiece known as Monticello. Although he remained wealthy for most of his life, Jefferson was deeply in debt in old age. Farming became an unreliable source of income and Jefferson was known to be a bigger spender than the money he actually had. Number 2, George Washington, $587 million. Washington inherited most of his wealth with his lucrative plantation, Mount Vernon which was bestowed upon him by his half-brother. He also earned good money as a general and then president. Washington's presidential salary in 1789 was $25,000, which was 2% of the U.S. budget. The U.S. budget today is $4.79 trillion, and therefore, 2% of the current budget is $96 billion. Before I get to number one, I have an honorable mention. One person who is not mentioned on this list is John F. Kennedy. He comes from a billionaire family that made their money in banking, investments, and bootlegging. Kennedy married rich, but was shot before he was able to inherit the wealth. Some lists put JFK at number two, 
but that's assuming he had his family's wealth, which he technically did not. So therefore, he is our honorable mention. He did earn a few million dollars himself, but that was not quite enough to crack the top 10. Number one, Donald Trump, $3 billion and counting. Donald Trump was born into wealth and inherited at least $400 million from his father, according to the New York Times. He then became even richer after taking over his father's real estate business. He now owns billions of dollars in multiple real estate holdings. Alright guys, that wraps up for this video. Let me know in the comments down below if any of these presidents had wealth that you were unaware about. I want to thank you all for tuning in today. Like and subscribe if you can. We are rapidly approaching that 2,000 subscriber mark. But most importantly, have a good day.